Globus is a high-performance file transfer service. The CAC supports Globus for both the Nix engineering cluster and the Flux campus cluster. We also are working with other administrators around the University of Michigan campus to enable the access of Globus on their machines. If you want to, your admin to provide Globus to one of your clusters, have them contact the CAC at cac-support at umich.edu. The simplest way to use Globus, which should provide reliable, higher performance transfers to normal SCP or SFTP, is by visiting globusonline.org. Globus Online is a web-based service that provides for file transfers between hosts. It provides a neat capability such that if a transfer host goes away, when it comes back up, the transfer will continue. So in the event that a machine crashes or a network connection goes down, the transfer will continue. It will also provide the ability that transfers should be faster on large network connections. It also lets you be able to send data between two separate hosts, and so you don't need to route data between your laptop or desktop lab machine, which may have a smaller, slower drive or a smaller, slower connection. Signing up for Globus Online is free. You just click on Sign Up. Give it a name, email, username, and choose a password. Select that you uh, agree to terms of service, and it's a good idea to get updates about Globus Online. I already have an account, so I'm not going to sign up in this case, but your username can be any username you need. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. This is what it looks like when you first connect to Globus. I'm going to start off by demonstrating transferring files between a CAC cluster and a remote Exceed or TerraGrid cluster. There's also the ability to add other functionality such as command line access, uh, the ability to transfer files to your laptop, and those will be demonstrated at another time in another video. So I say start transfer. Endpoints start with a site name, followed by a pound, followed by a machine name. In this case, I'm going to use the Nix cluster. So all UMish machines start with UMish, and so in this case, I'm connecting to the Nix machine. It's going to ask me for username and passwords. These are your cluster username and passwords. Once it's connected, you will see my files on the cluster on the left-hand side. You can change the directory you want to connect to. So if I want to connect to no backup, I just type in my no backup space there, and I see my files there. If you want to see a list of all the publicly available endpoints, just click the down arrow, and you'll find a bunch of others. In this case, I want to connect to the Exceed machine, Ranger. So it's going to be Exceed pound ranger and it shows up in the list there. It's going to ask now for my exceed or teragrid credentials. And you can see my files on the ranger machine on the right hand side. If I want to move files or a directory in between, I just pick a directory that I want to transfer and then hit the arrow to transfer. And this will say requesting file transfer. This is a batch system. So when you've set up a transfer, it's queued up to go. So I can log out now, shut down my laptop. The Flux cluster is sending data directly to the Exceed machine. It's not being routed through your laptop. You can also queue up other transfers. So say I wanted to send this folder here to the cluster, I would want to press this arrow. You can view uh, the tr transfer progress by clicking this view transfers and you can see that there's uh, some I've had succeeded and some I've had fail. You can see the last transfer, the first transfer I asked for only moved two files and it's already finished. The other one see has 65 files and it's waiting to go. You can view some details such as the speed it's going at, etc. That is how you use Globus online. To be able to use Globus with uh, your laptop or other machine where you're a single user, there's a very easy way to do it using Globus Connect. I'll demonstrate Globus Connect in another video.